Now, besides neural signaling molecules, we also have hormones. There are five primary hormones, and these we need to have identified because as we go through the various GI lectures, these will come up over and over again. The first is cholecystokinin, and these are released by eye cells. And these increase enzymatic secretions, contraction of the gallbladder, as well as causing the pyloric sphincter to constriction. Gastrin is released from G cells, and this causes increase in acid secretion. Gastroinhibitory peptide, this causes the inhibition of acid secretion as well as it also increases insulin. And so sometimes this is called glucose insulinotropic peptide. Motilin is released by M cells, and this increases contractions of the various smooth muscle. It also does something called an increase in this motility complex that will help move foodstuff from the top of the GI system down to the bottom and these migrating motor complexes help really move food stuff along the GI tract. Secretin is released by S cells, and this increases bicarbonate secretion as well as pepsin secretion. We have a few other items that we need to deal with besides the GI hormones, and that is local signaling molecules. These local signaling molecules are called paracrine signaling molecules. But before we do that, let's first talk through a little bit about where the GI hormones come from. I gave you all the cell types that they come from, but now let's talk more in generality about where anatomically they come from. Gastrin is started off by some release from those G cells in the bottom portion of the stomach, the, the duodenum, and it tapers off in the jejunum. Glucose or gastric inhibiting peptide is released in the duodenum, the jejunum. Motilin is released in the same locations from M cells. Cholecystokinin is released throughout the small intestine but tapers off in the ileum. And finally, secretin follows a very similar pattern of being primarily released in the duodenum, jejunum, and then tapering in the ileum. I promised you paracrine sickly molecules and here they are. Histamine is one of the primary ones. Histamine is released from ECL cells as well as mast cells, and these increase acid secretion. Nitric oxide is released by many, many different molecules, I mean by cells in the system, and mostly this involves increasing both blood flow as well as relaxing smooth muscle. Prostaglandins are also released by many different cell types, and these increase both mucus and bicarbonate secretion, as well as it decreases the secretion of hydrogen ions. Our final cell type or signaling molecule that we have is somatostatin. These are released by D cells, and this inhibits most secretions. And these are our four paracrine signaling molecules.